Hey everyone, Namaste, welcome. My name is Suraj, and today we are going to solve another problem from Coder's Army Sheet. So, without any further delay, chali se shuru karte hain. Okay, so what question says? So the name of the question is missing element of AP. So there will be array, okay, which will be in the form of arithmetic progression. Means the element in, inside it. will follow the rule of arithmetic progression now what does arithmetic progression means okay so arithmetic progression is nothing but if, if i explain you in layman terms so numbers which follow certain pattern or sequences are known as arithmetic progression if you want to understand in a good manner then just look at examples so as you can see over here 2 4 6 8 okay so you will observe one one thing that there is a difference of 2 in each element okay 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 should be 6 but here is 8 okay okay now you would say that suraj you have recently said arithmetic progression follows a certain sequence okay so here here is what question is asking right so one element will be missing in the arithmetic progression and you have to find that particular number i hope you got it so what is the basic thing that is striking to your head so as i have uh, told you that arithmetic progression follows some kind of order or sequence so definitely you will be finding now that what is that sequence that our arithmetic progression is following so what we will do for that we will do nothing we will simply find that what is the difference between the two elements right and how we will find it we will find by just finding the difference between the two elements we will write something like arr of n minus 1 and arr of 0 divided by n now why i have done so there is a reason behind it buddy because if you will uh, subtract first element by the second element so that will be the case that you know particularly that element is missing in this particular section right suppose you are doing only 4 minus 2 so that will give you 2 that's all right that's all right but in that case you are very really very clear that the element at this position only is missing but it is mentioned in the question that element can be uh, can be missing in in any part of the array except first and last okay that's why we want to use that kind of thing so what we will do here i will simply subtract last element by the first element and i will divide it by n now why i am dividing it by n the reason is when i will divide it by n now so it will give me the difference in the entire array entire array it will give me the average difference because one element is missing in the array so when you will find the difference so it will it can vary at at one or two numbers so that is the reason i am writing this code in this manner and this is the only important thing in this code so keep in mind okay now let's move forward so as we have find the difference now we will iterate through the array okay so let's iterate what happened okay now for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus that that we will do that okay so now so now 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 we are iterating over the array so what is the task we have to do we have to check when i am subtracting this number from this number so my difference would be d and if it is not so then in that case we will return false or oh, no we have we don't have to return false so we will simply return the answer now how we, how we will return that i will tell you it later don't worry about it okay so now so i will do something like int expected what should be the expected value arr of i plus 1 minus arr of i i am writing in this manner because it is in the increasing order as mentioned in the question right it is it is in the arithmetic progression following certain 
sequence so that's why uh, the array will be increasing in order so next value will be always greater than the value which uh, which uh, which uh, which was the last right so let's move forward okay so this should be the expected sum or value now what i will do i will put condition if expected value equal to no and uh, because there's only one element missing in the array so what i will do if expected value is not equal to the difference then i will simply return what i will return err of i plus t now why i am doing this because buddy if 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 suppose when i just came at this point i subtracted 8 from 4 that gave me the difference 4 which is not equal to the difference which should be 2 in this case okay that's why what i am doing if i have to find the missing number i will just do 4 plus the difference which is 2 so it will give me 6 okay so then i will be able to calculate oh so the missing value was 6 okay i hope you get it okay and in the and itself i could do one more thing I will write this again. Okay. Now let's try to run. I think everything is okay. <laughs> What's the error? Oh, <laughs> I I mistyped it. Okay. Two errors are there. Okay. I. <laughs> Cannot find symbol I Y buddy. I have mentioned it. <laughs> What's the error? Let me run it again, yar. Oh 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 oh. Wait a second. then it will say we don't have the return value <laughs> wait a second i am missing on something oh shit d i have to write I hope this will work now. Hmm. Okay, so the output is correct. Let's submit it and see what the result is. <laughs> okay, so all the test cases has been passed. Okay, so there's one more approach to solve this question, but I'm not explaining explaining that to you uh, because I have not taught you binary search yet, and I think that's a very very important topic. Okay, so I will explain that to you as well. Till then, you can watch. my answers video if you just wanted to learn that kind of stuff till then see you bye bye i will see you tomorrow